Okay, so let's start our very first official lesson for actual finance related stuff. So uh, again, we're going to be kind of how this is going to work. We will always talk through the key terms together live and then your actual lesson will be um, uh, Ed Puzzle so that you can take your own time through it. Um, if it, it should load everything and you should be able to actually hear me. My concern is doing these lessons live and then you not being able to hear me or having a bad connection and then missing the explanation for the actual math. So that's, this will be kind of how it's going to go from here for most things. So what we're going to be looking at today, this lesson is about um, pay periods. We're going to be um, talking about how to go from a certain size of a paycheck to a whole year's salary or vice versa. Most everything will be going, will have a year in it. Like we're not going to really be converting from how much you make in a day to how much you make in a week, but we could do that. Um, it'll be going from a year or to a year from a month or a week or biweekly, right? We wrote all of these terms down and we need them for these questions. Now, again, here's a, here, this lesson's going to be very easy for some of you guys. Um, how do we know if we're going to divide or multiply? Because, for example, some of the questions are going to be phrased like this. If you make $1,000 in a month, how much do you make in a year? Or it might be something like this. If you make 30000 in a year, how much do you make in a month? In both of those situations, they're very simple. We either divide or multiply by a number, and we'll talk about that. So you have this already on your notes. Um, we're going to just kind of write here, how do you know if we're dividing or multiplying? So you need to see what amount are you given. When I say given, I mean the, the number. Does the number you are given, does it represent a year or something smaller? So if it's a smaller time period, like for example, all the small time periods we have like a week is pretty small, bi-weekly, monthly. I'm not going to write all of them because usually the biggest time period we have, the bigger time period we have is a year. So if I'm given, I make $1,000 in a week and I want to know how much I want to find how much I make in a year. What do you think we should do? Multiply or divide? I'm trying to go from a small number to a big number as my final answer. Should we multiply or divide? You should multiply here. This is a situation where we need to multiply because we want to end up at a bigger number, right? It doesn't make any sense if I go, oh, I make $1,000 a week, so let's divide that and I'll see how much I make in a year. No, there is no way possible for you to make less money in a year than you do in a month. And again, the assumptions for these questions is that these are salaries meaning you make the exact same thing every week. So if I make $1,000 every week and there are 52 weeks in a year, I would multiply by that fact. Well, there's 52 weeks, multiply by 52. Now the reverse though, if I wanna go from a big to a small, then we should do the opposite, right? We should divide here. That's because again, it does not make any sense to say, oh, I make $30,000 in a year, so every week I make a million dollars. What? Ask yourself, does it make sense? Yes. If they say you make this much in a week, we wanna know the year, think about what would make sense. And again, what we're gonna be multiplying or dividing with slash by is, how many of those things are in a year, which is what we wrote down together and we talked about all of that. So let's go ahead, hopefully for some of you guys again, this is, this is obvious. You will get these types of questions right 100% of the time. For some people though, for some reason it just doesn't click. I think it's, it's because it's a word problem and our mind just has a hard time processing them. So again, as always, if you wanna fly through this lesson on your own even, and then you can skip through the skip through the lesson and check your answers. You can do that. So Julianne found a job listed in the classified ad that pays a monthly salary of 4K. So real quickly, we're going to see this occasionally. We know what K means. This means for 
thousand. K is for kilos or kilo, whatever you want to say it, depending on the word. So that is actually 4,000. So we do need to know that to make sure that we're actually using the right number. Occasionally they will say K, if it's 50K, that's 50,000, right? So forth and so on. So what we need to make a note of here is what this is. Monthly. This is every month she makes $4,000. Or she would if she had this job. What is the annual salary based on this given monthly salary? So again, I'm going to explain this kind of slowly. If you want to skip ahead, feel free. So what I want to do here is if this is something for you that it does not click right away, again, that's totally okay. For some of us, it, it just takes a while for it to click. What you want to write down is what's given to you. So again, how I labeled it here, what amount are you given? That's going to go first. So we are given a month of 4,000. Every month she gets 4,000. What we are going to is annual. Now, if you don't know this, annual means the exact same thing as a year. That means one year. Yeah. Anytime you see annual, that's a year. So we are going to a year. So I'm going from a month to a year. What do you think we should do? Multiply or divide? We should be multiplying because I want to end up with a bigger number. This is only one month and how many months are there in a year? 12. So that's what I'm going to multiply by. We multiply by how many of these are in a year. Um, or even if this was flipped, like if I was going from a year to a month, I'm still going to use how many months are in a year. I would just be dividing in that case. So all I need to do is 4,000 times 12. Go ahead and do that real quick. You should have gotten 48,000. Now you ask yourself, does this make sense? Yes, because one month is a smaller time period than a year, she makes more money. If you're looking at this and you're like, wait, I ended up with a smaller answer than 4,000, that's impossible. Then you should multiply instead of divide. Again, think, do I need to go from smaller to bigger or from bigger to smaller? Let's go ahead and try the next one. So Karen found a job with an annual salary of 67K. Once again, think about what that is and write it down. And then you want to make a note, as you read these problems, I recommend annotate as you read. Annual salary a year of 67,000. What is her monthly pay? So I'm going to write this down. We have year. This is again 67,000. So hopefully you remember that. And you want to put a little arrow to what time period are we going to? What does it tell us? Monthly. So we are going from a year to a month. So you want to think what we need to do. So here's a thought process. You're going to say to yourself, okay, because it's talking about months, it doesn't matter which way it goes, month to year, year to month, because there are months, we're going to use the number for how many months are in a year, which is again, 12, right? So guaranteed, I'm going to be using 12 because of month. Yeah. But now we need to think, am I going from small to big or big to small? What is bigger, a year or a month? A year, right? Therefore, I'm going from something big, a year, to something small, a month. We should therefore be dividing by 12. Again, notice what flipped was what I'm given to start. Given a month, going to a year, month to year, multiply. Year to month, divide, but it's by the same number, yeah? So I need my calculator for this, actually. 67,000 divided by 12. Okay, so again, this is money. So this is 5,583 point, we round this like money, so include the cents, 0.33. And that's how much money she makes a month. And that makes sense because all of those months would add up to the whole year, which is bigger. So hopefully this is clicking. We either multiply or we divide by how many of the things we have that are in a year. Maybe. Always. Okay, let's try this again on your own. So I want you to try this one. Christina is paid bi-weekly. Her annual salary is 37000 What is her bi-weekly salary? So you have all of the numbers. We know month, but we wrote down 
how many biweekly pay periods are in a month and it's on your formula sheet, sorry, in a year. So what I want you to write down first is the number we are given, it's right there, and what, it, what time period it is. Do that real quick. Okay, the number we are given is 37,000. The time period it represents is a year. Now I see this often. It says bi-weekly first, and so people go, oh, so this is bi-weekly. No, guys, read. This is her annual salary. They are just telling us she is paid bi-weekly. However, that is what we are trying to find. What is her bi-weekly salary? So what I want you to do is I want you to think, what number are we going to use because it's bi-weekly? And then we're multiplying or dividing. Are we going small to big or big to small? Go ahead and try it. Okay, so the number we are using because it's bi-weekly, it's on your formula sheet and wrote it down, it's 26. We are going from a year to a bi-weekly pay period. Remember, that's only two weeks. Bi-weekly is only two weeks of time. So big to small, you should have divided. Again, ask yourself what makes sense. It would not make sense to multiply here because I need to get a smaller number. I'm going from a whole year to only two weeks of pay. Now again, this is gonna run to 0 0.08, it's 0 0.076. We, we learned about this. That's gonna round that up to an eight. If it was 0 0.073, we'd stay 0 0.07. So that's how much money she gets every two weeks. Minus taxes and whatnot, we're gonna learn about that later. This is before taxes, but still. Okay, I want you to try this last one all on your own. Again, write down what we have to start with and what it is, what time period it is. Think of where we're going. Should we multiply or divide and then by what number? Try the whole thing. Okay, so semi-monthly salary is 1239. So 1239 is semi-monthly. Sorry, as always, for my dog chewing on the ball. We are going to annual because it says, what is the annual? We are going to a year. So to start with, you want to think about what number because even if it's if this is flipped, if it's year to semi-monthly, you still use the same number. So the number you should have used is 24 because we wrote that down. There are 24 semi-monthly pay periods in a year. And again, semi-monthly means twice a month. So that's pretty small, going to a year. Remember, year is always gonna be the biggest one. So you should have, going from small to big, you should have multiplied. A semi-monthly paycheck, again, is only once, um, or twice a month, I should say. So we get 29, 736. So this is the annual salary. That's how much money they would get in a year, obviously before taxes and everything is taken out. So you want to think, does it make sense? Pershmel though was doing her financial algebra homework. Go ahead and read through this. And was given the following information about a person's salary. Bob makes $30,000 annually. Pershmel did her calculations and found that he makes 720,000 semi-monthly. Is she correct? If so, explain what she did. Is she incorrect? If so, explain what she did wrong or meaning what she should have done. Go ahead and think this through, read it through, and try and write a sentence here. Okay, so here's what you need to think. This is 30,000 annually going to semi-monthly. We should have ended up with a smaller number. Again, the year will always be the big one. Semi-monthly means that she's getting that much twice a month. That makes no sense for you to get paid this much twice a month, but somehow to only get this much in a year? No, so she is incorrect. So what it looks like she did is instead of dividing, she multiplied, right? 30,000 times 24 does give us 720,000. So again, what you should have written down is, she should have divided just the business symbol by 24 instead of multiplied because once again we need to think does it make sense we should get a smaller number 
for how much money you would get twice a month from a year. So just ask yourself, once you're done with the problem, hey, does my answer make sense? Should I have ended up with a smaller number? Should I have ended up with a bigger number? And you should be good. I'm gonna check one thing real quick and then I can just cut this out, if not. Let's see if it'll allow me to, there we go. I don't think so, but I just want to make sure. Yep, okay, good. Okay, so from here, you guys are gonna go do your assignment. Um, again, with the homework, you can ask me questions. It's homework, so if you wanna send me a picture of every single question you have, and be like, is this right before I click submit, so I don't have to do this 10 times. Totally, it's your homework. It looks like a quiz, but it's not actually. So again, totally on anything that says assignment, feel free to reach out to me and um, if you want me to check before you click submit.